Hi, I'm Katja's mom, Patty, or also known as Monday Mom. Um, I'm going to talk about this um, game, Detroit Become Human. It really affected me when I watched it. I cry a lot, so just bear with me. I went through a lot of abuse with my husband, who I'm still married to, which was stupid. I should have gotten rid of him. When, um, basically, it was more mental than physical. There was some physical, but it was more mental. He would come home and trash how I felt. Called me a cunt, a bitch. Everybody hated me. I'm worthless. And to watch this dad with this little child and this this robot woman just really got to my heart. You people really got to a lot of people probably when they see this because uh, it affected me. I'm 55 years old. I have three daughters and it's been hell. Uh, he used to come home when Katja was like three, treated like crap, didn't understand all the problems she had because she was allergic to artificial coloring, flavoring, and everything I basically gave her, which we didn't know at the time, really affected her. And he couldn't understand that. And then she had to go through iron therapy. And the, she went through a lot, but he would pick her up and throw her on the bed, and I would just beat him. So to see this man do this to this child, which I know it's just a game, but it affected my heart. It really did. My other two were affected too, not as much because they were younger. So my middle child, Tatiana, remembered some, but Anya really didn't remember anything because she was very little. But even in the beginning, he had no money. And I worked 80 hours a week, night shift, in a shop, right? And I loved it, but every penny I had, he stole. I paid for the wedding, I paid for the honeymoon, I paid for the down payment of the house. Thank God I have my parents because he literally, I had his name on the checkbook and he took $30,000 and gambled it. When Koch was born, he was a drunk. When Tatiana was born, he was a drunk and a drug addict. And when Anya was born, he was a drunk, a drug addict, and also a gambler. When Anya was little, six months of her life when she was home, he was never home. He was out gambling. So she never saw him. So when she finally saw him and he would walk in the room, she would literally cry because she didn't know who he was. So basically, this game, the abuse I get. One day he did come home. He picked me. He was drunk. He said, mean, mean drunk. He picked me up by my neck. His mother happened to call, which she was a wonderful woman who passed away too early when Anya, who's 20 right now, was three years old when she passed, called, and I told her what happened, and she goes, well, I can make believe I'm going to Marshall's down the road and visiting. I said, no, that's okay. He's passed out by the front door, so he's fine now. So it's been really bad here really bad and I just feel bad for my kids that we had to go through all that it was just horrendous I even had two wonderful dogs Kato who was almost 200 pounds and Suki who was 140 they were Akitas we had puppies with them he hated Kato because Kato basically I called him my soulmate I had him before I had my kids and Kato would come between and when he stood up he was as small as Bill and and he would stand between us and he literally was jealous, was jealous of the girls because he wanted to be the center of attention. It's been rough. We've made it through. My girls are older. They help me. I love them all. But I just wanted to tell you, Quantum Dream, thank you for showing that you know, they make these happy games and these other violent games and these car games, but this is true. This happens in real life. I am an example of it. I may not be the child. 
I was only in my 20s and 30s and 40s and now 50s. He doesn't do anything now. He does get nasty when he comes home drunk. I tell the girls to go upstairs. He doesn't really work. I work all the time, paying for the bills. And hopefully one day I'll be in Hawaii with my girls and happy. But I just wanted to thank you to bring reality, even though it's a robot, but it's a reality. Our children go through this and I hope everyone finds help. I had my family. I have my girls now. My family, which means my parents. And I have my girls now because my parents did pass, which breaks my heart, which is another story. But to you, thank you for making this game. It's a true game. I thank you very much.